The month of February is dedicated to love and passion. Couples celebrate and reclaim their love for one another in a variety of ways, ranging from little gestures to large romantic ones. Valentine's Day is observed on February 14th every year and it is also known as the Day of Love or simply Chocolate Day. In this video, we're going to talk about four things that you probably didn't know about the whole Valentine's Day celebration. When you think of Valentine's Day messages and love letters being written, seldomly do you think of a prison, you know? There is absolutely no correlation between the two. Well, you are wrong if you think about that. The first Valentine's Day message in history was written from one of the most unromantic settings imaginable, and that is a prison. While being a captive at the Battle of Agincourt, Charles, the Duke of Orleans, sent a love letter to his second wife. He would never see her reply as he was in prison for 20 long years, and this was way back in the 15th century. So, that is one thing you probably didn't know about Valentine's Day. Another thing you probably didn't know about Valentine's Day is that the whole celebration has um, pagan origins. Yep, that might sound strange to you, but it is actually true, you know. Valentine's Day is um, thought to have originated as a Christian attempt to supplant a pagan fertility celebration that's like goes way back to the 6th century BC. Roman priests would slaughter goats and dogs and use their like blood soaked hides or skin to slap women on the streets, okay, as a fertility blessing during the Lupercalia festival. Women would then place their names in an urn and be chosen to be partnered with a man for a year, according to um, the folklore back then. Valentine's Day without chocolates is like Christmas without Christmas trees. So how did it all begin? Richard Cadbury, who was a candy maker back in 1861, was the first you know, to think of um, selling chocolates on Valentine's Day. He put them in heart-shaped boxes with rosebuds and cupids and you know, it was an instant hit and as a result, a new Valentine's Day custom was formed. Cupid, the plump baby with wings and a bow and an arrow. You normally see um, pictures of him when you buy this Valentine's Day gift cards and stuff like that. Before he was known as Cupid, the ancient Greeks knew him as Eros, the god of love. He was the son of the Greek goddess Aphrodite. You know, he is normally depicted holding two sets of arrows, one for love and the other for hate. And he used that to play with the emotions of his targets. So, that is just about that for today's video. And before I sign off, I want to tell you that there are 365 days in a year you don't need just a single day to show love to your loved ones show love as often as you can and show them whilst your loved ones are here a happy valentine's day to you all bye bye